Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. This live stream is a bit irregular since um, Twitch is not allowing me to live stream. However, I can still chat. Good luck. We can still have fun together. But it would be nice to have a live audience. We'll see if we can get that working in future live streams. I'll also see if I can manage to finish uh, games within... Uh, it's 40 minutes until the daily reset occurs, and I would like to finish three games in 40 minutes. You do the math on that one. It may or may not be feasible for me to um, get all my daily games played before the reset if we do 10 minutes on each game. So I might switch up the time control for the last two games, or come up with some other measure to keep this entertaining. Switching the time control sounds fun. But yeah, you see me playing quickly here, as I would like to try to finish more, as many games as I can. Um, so here we see this bishop is a bit prone. Yeah, the knight does defend the bishop's head temporarily. Um, but unless they push this pawn, I can push on the bishop's head. Actually, I can start to push on the knight's head as well. Um, the opponent might be considering Anaguma Castle. They're definitely considering it at this point if they've not already committed to it. Um, however... I've got a strong... Oh, I'm sorry, this is... Uh, that's a fun castle shape. Yeah, so this here... I forget the name of it. Millennium Castle. The weakness is uh, the head of the knight. So I want to aim for the knight's head and have a pawn in hand to put there. And we'll see if I can get that. Um... Also, pushing on the center file could be fun. Um, let's see. How does this work? I had some ideas about how I thought this worked. You might have some ideas as well. But yeah, they've been a, built a very strong castle shape. So it's imperative they not give a lot of ground at this point. Um, they might drop a bishop here, forking a knight, and a gold that's a bit difficult to defend. I might drop a rook in return, and then promote the rook taking the opponent's knight. And, like, tactics might go in a pretty wild spot here. Um, alternatively, they might drop a rook trying to aim at my king, in which case I'm in a lot of trouble. But here, I don't think they're going to take this gold. And if they do take the knight, I get a dragon. So, uh, I think it's a fair exchange. And now I could drop a bishop and return the favor. Also, I could drop a knight and hit all this. So that seems to be a rather acute target that's difficult for them to defend. Now that I have a knight to attack with. If I had another knight, that'd be even better. Knights are great pieces. They might... oh, never mind. I had some ideas as to what they might try. My ideas were not what they actually tried. 
Um, so my bishop's in a good spot. They might take this bishop in order to keep attacking my silver again and again. I guess the word um, Moronaka uses for repeated attacks is consecutive. And it's a great word. Uh, they, so they might produce consecutive attacks by exchanging their rook. On the other hand, another rook would make my attack even stronger. Um, but yeah, my silver's kind of playing about here. And a bishop could have been dropped up here instead, but then they would attack the bishop. And I'd have to come up with something. Uh, they might drop their knight way out here in no man's land. Well, no, they can't. I, I would just take it. I kind of lucked out in that respect. I did look and try to find if they had a good knight drop before I made my move. I didn't see one, but I played my move in quite a hurry. On the other hand, this is loose, and when it's my turn to attack, I can... I mean, I'd be giving them a knight. That's very dangerous to give them a knight, but what can I do? Um, interesting. All right. This is, speeds up my attack by one move. Um, Wow, my attack continues to increase in speed. This is exciting, isn't it? They block the square where they might want to drop a different piece. Also, this blocks the knight. Hmm. I have to take this knight, because this threat on the square was severe. Um, well, did I have to take that? Potentially... I mean, they're lucky they have this many pieces defending, or I would have mate in one. But, yeah, I was very defensive-minded here. I should have looked to see if I had mate in one. Instead of assuming the opponent didn't just give me it. But... Uh, they almost gave me it. Um, okay. Oh, they could trade their horse over here. Yeah, that's the correct and generous move here. The stingy move of trying to save their horse would not have been a good idea. There is a saying that three knights form a checkmate. Um, and this is just one knight, and I'm, they already have one knight here, and I'm about to give them the third knight in hand. So I seem to be a bit skeptical of that proverb. But hey, if there's a mate, there's a mate. I just don't really see it. They might drop a silver here to try to slow down my attack. Um, because I seem to have run out of knights. Although I could take this knight. That's an idea. Yeah, so if they drop a silver, I probably take the silver, actually. And silver takes, I take this knight. Oh, never mind. Um, I'm in check. That changes things significantly. 
Um... I didn't account for just how dangerous this could be. I might need to take this knight very soon here. Also, silver takes silver looks extremely dangerous. Yep. Um. Nanafun. Hmm, I can't really take the knight to speed up or help my defense. Uh, okay, this is bad. Um, let's try this. Keep an open mind. Yeah. I'm probably going to need to change the pace of the last two games to finish them before the reset happens. Because playing quickly is just getting me mated. Um... On the other hand, uh, completing games quicker is kind of exciting. Oh, that's mate. I saw that like I couldn't fork anywhere here, but now there's nothing I can do here. Thanks for the game. Uh, who knows? Maybe I can get three games done. Let's give it a shot. One down, two to go. Good luck. Oh, right. Well, this is going to be a mess. How do I attempt to survive this? Hmm. I seem distracted, don't I? Alright, so I just gave up a bishop and a lance. It's fine. It's not, but, you know, what can I do? Okay, let's get the king to comparative safety. There's not a whole lot I can do here. As my position's already lost, but I can try.
Free pawn. Woo! Let's celebrate that. The good news about not having a live audience is that unless people check the VOD, nobody's got to see this game. <laughs> Although I assume many folks will find this game entertaining if they do happen to stumble upon it. But not a whole lot of pressure on me here. Uh, at least not to deliver live content. So I might, I might consider silver takes just to make this position odd. Um, no, their bishop promotes over here. Silver takes might speed things up by one move, but it's... I mean, my position's lost, so what do I have to lose? But no, the silver takes followed by knight takes doesn't do anything to help me here. Pushing the center pawn might help. Um, if I could break the center file open, maybe I have some hope of a chance someday. On the other hand, if I push this, uh, tactics emerge everywhere. Um, well, we're pushing it anyway. There's no reason to hold back on that. Um, if I do end up collecting a pawn, then they can drop a pawn up here. So I might end up moving my rook up if it's... Mm, that's not how this is going to work, is it? I could also exchange the silver for two pieces. Two pieces are better than one. It's just a silver. So we'll try to make something of this. The more pieces I get in hand, the more chances I have to do something. So if this bishop moves away, this is loose. See? We're finding an initiative here. Despite playing some odd moves. My rook's floating, so let's do something about that. They could block with a pawn, and I could move the rook back one square, repeating the position, but up a pawn. Or I could move the rook back further, where it's probably much safer back here than way up there. Um, but yeah, to gain a tempo, they're probably dropping this pawn. And back my rook goes. So the bishop's still attacked, this pawn is still attacked, the king is still in the center. I haven't dropped the knight because I don't know where I might need it. I might need it over here. Although if the silver moves, the king has a place to retreat to. If the bishop retreats here, I, a knight can fork two bishops. If the bishop retreats to the center, I can take this pawn and pin the bishop to the king. The king can then run. Well, that didn't happen. All right. So that's a fork. They say do not run from a fork. I mean, that's the proverb right in the chat window there. Um, so our opponents run out of pieces to block with. Um, let me take here first. Complete surrounding the king before doing anything else. Uh -huh. And then see if the opponent does block my check. This bishop probably isn't going anywhere, so I should take this. Well, I don't need to take it yet. Um, oh, interesting. Wow. Thanks for the 
game. Interesting. Two games down, one to go. Let's, let's go for it. Trying to get in three games before the reset happens. We'll see how far we get. Good luck. Interesting. Aim for the king. King is the real target. Nope, this way. There we go. I might have misplayed this, because the bishop should be out by now. I've trapped my bishop. But I'll find a different way to move it. Oh, right. Um, yeah, this is a mess. Okay. Well, that was quite an exchange of moves. Um, perhaps not to be repeated anytime soon. So, I've got an initiative here. Defending this point could prove challenging. Um, oh, I see. Interesting.
So they can defend a pawn. But should they defend the pawn, this bishop is trapped. Also, I can push this pawn and not worry about collecting that bishop right away. Also, if I push the pawn, then another pawn could collect the bishop. Nanafun. Bringing out the knight looks challenging. I'm not sure how to how best to attack their shape. Um, oh, if I could hit this square enough times, it would be a lot easier to attack their shape. So maybe that's my goal. A bishop could somehow hit this and I could push the pawn. Or something like that. Or I could push this in advance and then push the pawn, knight takes, and drop another pawn, their knight moves, and I just start taking everything. That might be the idea. Now, would, moving the horse would sidestep this silver advance. Oh, pushing this, they could bring a gold over to defend this square again. Hmm. There's no easy win here. Well, no, if they bring the gold over, a bishop drop, they bring the other gold over, I take the silver. There's only so much they can do to stop all of my tactics, or all my attacks. Well, if they do try bringing this over, I drop here, they bring the gold back, I take, they take... I've not done anything. I can surround the rook, but the rook's not the target. The king is the target. Stay on target. Pushing this pawn, I could bring the horse in a retreat to attack this way. Um, hmm. It feels like a bishop would be well placed on this diagonal, controlling almost the entire board. But that denies me the option of dropping a bishop on the back rank. All my pieces are floating. I could consider moving the silver just so I have fewer pieces hanging. Or I could retreat this horse, but then this pawn drops. This was not the right place for them to drop a knight. Um, or at least it was a very risky space for a knight to drop. Because where's the knight going next? It's possible I might win by timeout. If something came up on their end of the universe, uh, there's nothing I control can do to change things, circumstances beyond the game itself. And it's just a game. Sure, we enjoy our games and take them pretty seriously, but ultimately real life does come first. I'm impressed with how I played this game. Should I be... well... 
this castle was rather improvised. A lot of things I did were improvised here, so I'm not so proud of those. But the way this attack has um, yielded fruit, I'm impressed. I did not imagine an attack being this, having this kind of a yield. But I might be underestimating like the threat of this silver and whatever this knight can do. Also, I might have just outright lost my connection. I don't see anything on my end indicating that the connection is lost. However, it's this... I don't know. If I did lose my connection, what might that look like? Hopefully the app would tell me instead of leaving me in suspense. But I don't know. So if they bring the silver out, if I bring the horse up, they bring this gold up. Their king is exposed. These pieces defend each other. These pieces would defend each other. So silver up, horse up is not a good idea. Silver up, well, I mean, if I move the horse over, they could drop a knight. And then if I move the horse up, they bring a gold up. And it's still not pleasant. But it forced many pieces to commit in a weird shape. But it might be better to invoke the shape the other way, silver knight, or silver horse, gold horse retreats, and then provoke, um, well, with these pieces blocking, they can't drop the knight here with the gold here. But then the gold can take here. Never mind. So yeah, silver horse over is the way to go. Uh, otherwise, I'd be dropping this. Although dropping this is not terrible. Also, if they move the silver up, I could consider taking it and trying somehow to get initiative, but I don't think that works. Also possible, silver up, horse retreats, rook takes pawn, pawn drop, rook moves somewhere, pawn up, silver takes pawn. I drop something here. Don't think that's going to happen, but there's a lot to consider. This is a really strong, solid shape here. But it means if they've got this solidity here, that this is loose and this is loose. So that's the trade-off. Yeah, I suspect that what occurred is something in real life happened and forced their attention away from the game. I don't think this is malice. I think this is just an accident. So... Hopefully we've enjoyed this. I'll do some game review later. Hopefully I can get my Twitch account broadcasting again and be able to do a live game review. But as is, I'm probably just going to have to upload this video. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to log in and do live broadcasts again soon. It's great having a live audience when we can afford it. Thanks for the game. All right, that's three games for the day. Like I said, these games are good fun. Again, I don't fault my opponent. Something must have come up on there, and that's entirely fair. But hopefully we've enjoyed these games. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.